I am so glad that you are watching this video. It is the last video of the series. I mean, as it is right now. We might come back to it and discuss finer points, but this series, we can call it done. The site is done. We've done it. We've had over 20 videos, over three months of, of weekly videos and, and, and like interspersed with, with some bi-weekly videos. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's been quite a ride and here we are, the last video. Let's look at our Trello board and see what we're doing. Last video that we did, we made the header responsive and that was fun. It looks great. Everything looks fantastic right now. Today we're going to talk about getting this site that we've built locally the whole time set up on an external server so that the world can see it, okay? This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Okay, we have the artist theme right running on our local host. And this is where we've been developing it the whole time. And we've got it just the way we want it. It's so beautiful and so wonderful. It's like a little baby bird. We're going to let it go off into the world. Okay, so um, we have now, this is the super awesome thing I've been waiting three months to tell you guys about. If we go to Jekyll's website, we can notice that down here, we get free hosting from GitHub Pages, and GitHub Pages actually uses Jekyll. Now, I want to be clear about something. There is a momentary hiccup in the process. GitHub Pages supports Jekyll up to versions 2.2. 2.0 and we're using version 2.3 so there is going to be an error but I want to take you through the case of it not being an error with when when github does update to Jekyll 2.3 shortly so that's what we're looking at first and then I'll teach you how to make your way around it okay so it's really easy to do we're going to go into our dev tips artist theme now if you fork this right here if you're one of these 71 people who have who have created Wow, 71 of you guys who have created forks. Um, all you have to do is go over to your master branch right here and create a new branch, type gh-pages. Now you have a new branch that's been created. It's called gh-pages, and you'll see that up in the URL. With the GH pages, it's like a it's like a special name of a branch, right? You can name branches anything you want, but if you name your branch GH Pages, it does something really cool and awesome. It actually runs Jekyll on uh, the on the repo that's in that branch, right? This is cool. All you have to do after you make that new branch is go to devtips.github.io slash artists theme, like that. Now right now I'm getting a 404, but again, after GitHub updates this, this should work fine and you won't get a 404. But I'm getting a 404 because they want get a Jekyll 2.2 Two, and I'm using a feature that is causing an error because it's allowed in version 2.3 but not 2.2 which they support but they will support 2.3 eventually and that's you know for you guys that are watching this in the future this is fine it will work right now but for you guys watching today or you know whenever this is released this is a problem that we have to overcome okay so what's happening there's a Jekyll error now, GitHub Pages will run Jekyll and give you uh, and kind of display the output right here normally. Uh, the other thing it will do is if you're if you have a, a site that's just you know uh, what is it called like, like static, but if your site is already static HTML and CSS and JavaScript, it will run that too. So I'm going to go into my GitHub application and I'm going to sync it up. It's going to be syncing with the the new branch that I just made, and I'm going to branches and see that the new branch is there. Okay, so I'm going to switch the branch right here to GitHub Pages, and then I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm going to make sure that it's actually compiling the Jekyll here. This looks good, and I'm going to check my local 
host 8000 working fantastically. Okay, Jekyll is running, the GH Pages branch is running Jekyll right now, and that's how I'm getting this local host. And it's important to listen to this next step, turn off Jekyll. So I go into terminal and I press control C and that will turn Jekyll off. And if I hit refresh again on my local host, it will get a uh, nothing. There's nothing will show up there. Can't find the web page. Okay, so Jekyll is not running right now, but we already have the rendered output of Jekyll in underscore site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything that's not underscore site and I'm going to move it to the trash. Now it's gone. I'm going to take everything that site gives me and I'm pull it out and move site to the trash. Okay. Now, when I go back to my branch, I should have a ton of deleted things and a few moved things, or rather new things, right? These are all the things that were generated by Jekyll before they were all deleted, okay? So I'm gonna commit this, I'm gonna call this un-Jekyll, commit. Okay, now that's GH pages, right? Now when I switch it back over to master, I should have the full uh, repo is normal. And when I run uh, Jekyll again, oh, cover your fingers, please. Okay, it's fine. Okay, and turn Jekyll off with Command C and switch back to GitHub Pages. Now I can take this branch and uh, now that I have that commit, I'm going to sync that to GitHub. And I'm going to go back to this 404 page that I had, which is devtips.github.io slash artist theme and refresh. <clears throat> now, if it doesn't show up right away, keep on clicking that refresh and it will it will be fine because it needs a few minutes to propagate. But here we are. Look at this. devtips.github.io slash artist theme is a real URL that you can go to and everything is working super fantastic. Uh, this is it. This is this is like uh, the exciting thing. Everything that we've done on this this whole this whole thing is free. I mean, our forms are sent to us for free. Hosting is free. Jekyll is building and managing our site for us for free. Everything is just like you know, it's done on the cheap. It's great. I love I love free things. Anyway, um, this has been a fantastic video series i have learned so much from everybody who's been contributing the whole time there are actually a few more pull requests that i'm going to do in the next few weeks and a few things that i'll be revisiting in this in this uh, site as well but the series as it is we can call it good we're done on it ah, i'm so excited i'm gonna drink a root beer or something <laughs> this series is over we did it we did it it's like 22 or something episodes we, we did it. Uh, you deserve a trophy for watching them all. If you did watch them all, you're amazing. You're amazing. And thank you so much to all of our contributors uh, for all the poll that do the poll request. Thank you to all of the artists that have used allows us to use their work as in our portfolio examples. And uh, thanks to you guys for watching and supporting and sharing and subscribing to the channel the whole time. It means so much. I feel like I, I feel like uh, I feel like I've ran a marathon or something, you know, like a dev tip marathon. I appreciate you so much. Uh, please share this uh, series if it meant anything to you and uh, if it was helpful to you in any way. And also um, check back next week because we're just gonna keep on doing awesome things. Thank you so much for watching and keep on hacking, bros. Take care. Now that this series is over, we can get rid of this stupid beard. Oh my gosh, this thing is getting long. Ow, ah. Can you believe this thing? All that time traveling for nothing. Mm. I feel like Harrison Ford in The Fugitive. Ah, my kids like grab this thing. My little boy. Holes on it and laughs. I'm so glad that it's gonna be gone now. Yeah. Next time you see me, I'll be beardless, yo. Mm. All right. Looks better, right? Cool. Mm.